Welcome sa sip9.com And this video, tutorial natin yung ating series on conversion no? Sa previous video, sabi ko sa inyo ay uh, mag After ng video na yon sa CV01 Ay uh, lilipat na tayo sa fraction to decimals However, I think uh, kailangan pa natin ng more examples Para uh, mas, uh, mas solve natin yung uh, ibang types pa ng problems no? So, for example Let's have another example, 0.65 to fractions. No? So, convert the following to fraction. So, sabi natin, uh, pag meron tayong decimal, ang gagawin lang natin is ilagyan uh, lang natin ng uh, denominator na 1. No? Ang gawin natin ng fraction siya, tapos yung decimal gawin natin ng numerator at yung denominator gawin nating 1. And then we get rid of the the decimal numbers no. So dito for example, ang 0.65 para matanggal natin 'yan, magmo-multiply tayo ng 100, di ba? Times 100. No, pag-aralan natin to sa previous video no. Kaya dapat uh, alam niyo na to dito. So if you multiply the numerator by 100, dapat yung denominator i-multiply mo rin ng 100. So, mangyari, magkakaroon tayo ng 65 over 100, which is uh, already a fraction. So, kada kadalasan, or may mga time na pwede pa nating i-reduce to lowest terms. So, dito, for example, ang 65, obviously, and 100 are divisible by 5. So, pwede natin siyang i-divide by 5. Divide by 5. And again, if we divide by 5, hindi naman nababago yung fraction. So, pwede tayo maglagi ng equal sign dyan. 65 divided by 5 is 13. No? And 100 divided by 5 is 20. So, pwede pa bang i-reduce to lowest terms? Hindi na pwede, no? Ito na yung pinakasagot natin. No? So, number 2, we have 0 0.7. 0 0.72. Uh, decimals. No? So, ganun din, 0 0.7 over 1. And then, dito, uh, magiging, uh, mag-multiply tayo ng 100 ba or 10? Ano lang, no? Uh, 10 lang, no? Kasi isa lang naman yung decimal, uh, play, uh, decimal number. So, magiging uh, 0 0.7 times 10 equals 1 times 10. Uh, not equals 1 times 10, but the denominator should also be uh, multiplied by 10. So, mangyayari magkakaroon tayo ng fraction na 7, 7 over 10. No, pwede ba natin i-reduce to lowest terms? Hindi na. 7 over 10 is already in lowest terms. So, number 3, we have uh, 0 0.27 to uh, fraction. So, 0 0.27 over 1. And then, uh, we multiply by 100, 0 0.27. 27 times 100. Tapos yung baba natin is 100. Or 1 times 100. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 27 over 100. Pwede ba natin i-lowest terms to? Bukang hindi, no? Hindi uh, pwedeng i-lowest terms ang 27 over 1. And our last example, we have uh, 0 0.05 over 100. So, ah, sorry, 0 0.05. So, magiging 0 0.05 over 1. And then we multiply by 100, 0 0.05 times 100 over 1 times 100. This becomes 5 over 100. Ang 5 over 100, pwede natin siyang i-lowest terms by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 5. This gives us 1 over 20. No? So I think that's it. No? Um, again, uh, pinaliwanag ko sa inyo sa unang video na uh, if you multiply the numerator of a fraction and uh, if you multiply the denominator and the numerator of a fraction by, by a number, parehong number, then we are not changing the value of the fraction. No? Kaya pwede tayo mag-multiply uh, 
uh, pwede rin tayo mag-divide ng parehong number both na sa numerator at sa denominator. No? I think that's it. Uh, by the way, from the previous video, no, uh, pinag-aralan na rin natin na kung meron tayong uh, siguro we'll have one more example. Pag merong tawag dito, pag merong whole number, ay, 5.8, no? This is our fifth example. 5.8. It's a fraction, so magiging 5.8 over 1 din yan, di ba? Which is equal to, magta times 10 tayo, magiging 58. Mag, uh, 1 times 10 tayo is over 10. Which is equal to, ilan to? 5. Ang 58 over 2. Inivide ko sa 2, uh, sa 2 para maging 5. Ang 58 over 2 magiging 29. 29 ba? Tama? So, 29 over 5. Or, tama na ito. Pero kung gusto nyo gawing mixed form, magiging uh, 29 divided by 5. So, that's 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 4. So, magiging equal siya sa 5. This is our quotient. Tapos, this is our numerator. 5 and 4 fifth. No? So, depende sa teacher ninyo, minsan okay na yung uh, improper. No? Pero usually sa middle school at sa elementary school, I think uh, mas preferred yung mga teachers yung ganito. But these are both correct. No? 29 over 5 or 5 and 4 fifth. That's it. Uh, I hope meron kayo natutunan dito. Meron pang isang ano nito, yung uh, repeating decimals, but I think I have a separate video for that. No? So, anuhin nyo na lang siguro. Hanapin nyo na lang yung, yung uh, repeating decimals to fractions. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial. So, kayong uh, invite sa siplion.com. Um, Nandiyan yung ating mga videos. No? Nakalista dyan na sunod-sunod. So, kung gusto nyo panoorin na sunod-sunod. Mas maganda puntahan nyo yung website na yan. Okay? Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.